As we told you, Li Meng Yang was one of the first people to tell the truth in the United States, at great personal cost. She was there, she joins us now. Doctor, thank you so much for coming on. You said three years ago that you believe that this virus was intentionally released by the government you once worked for, the government of China. Today we're hearing in this leak to the Wall Street Journal that it was accidental. Do you believe this leak was accidental or intentional? Hi, Tucker. Thank you for having me again. First, I really want to appreciate you and also Fox News have been taking so much efforts pursuing the truth of COVID origin. Without your help, there won't be such milestone achievement. And I want to tell, of course, it was not an accident. And maybe for people who don't have this kind of biosafety lab three or four uh, experience, uh, experience on coronavirus, maybe it's easy for them to accept the accident and lab leak. However, I'm the scientist working in such lab using coronavirus, and I can tell you, based on the print, uh, protocol and also the other uh, surveillance uh, system, it will be impossible for the lab leak accidentally happened in such lab and caused the Wuhan outbreak and also the pandemic. So definitely, now we just reached to the first step. It was from China's lab, and we need to pursue the uh, truth of origin, and we need to keep going on. We know the Chinese government allowed its infected citizens to travel in huge groups to Western Europe in the early days of the pandemic. That was intentional. But you believe the whole thing, they came up with this virus and they unleashed it on the world to destroy the Western economies and to elevate their own position globally. I want to... Uh uh, emphasize one thing is, I would say based on the evidence and the source I have that the lab, uh, the a virus was intentionally brought out of this strict lab and released in the community. However, I don't think the outbreak in Wuhan was intentional. I would say it was because CCP government and the military scientists underestimate the transmissibility. That's why finally it got out of control and caused a local, a local outbreak. However, we should know that CCP government intentionally to let it go all over the world to kill millions of people all over the world later. We just have to hope and pray that you will be interviewed by many other journalists in this country over the coming weeks. Now that this has been confirmed, you're an eyewitness to it. You have, a, I think, a credible story to tell, and I, and I really hope you're no longer ignored. I appreciate your coming on again tonight. Li Ming Young, thank you so much. Thank you, Tucker. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.